So almost 80,000 people watched a recent video of mine where bat boxes had been stuck to ULES cameras. And it turns out overnight that there's actually been some damage to them. And you'll see in a moment that they do deny it, but I actually think that Sadiq Khan and TFL are to blame. Because the article says that TFL deny ripping a ULES bat box warning off of a camera pole in an unmarked van. And I'll put a photo up on screen now so you can see for yourself. It just seems like someone's cut or ripped the sign off. And it was laminated as well, so it's probably something that you are going to need some scissors for. And as far as I can tell, going by the photos and the article, it's not the actual bat box that has been taken off. It is just the warning sign. And at first when I saw that, I, I kind of didn't think that it was worth a video. I mean, it's just a warning sign that's been taken off. It's pretty much just a piece of paper. But then it occurred to me that it's actually pretty symbolic. Because the legal issue when it comes to the bats is the actual bat box itself. Essentially, they're a protected species. So any broken ULES cameras can't be replaced by TFL. I mean, they're going to have to try and get the ladder up there to replace the box, and you, you, can't, you can't do that when there's a protected animal in the way. So it is actually a pretty genius plan. But the fact that they've only removed the warning sign and not the actual bat box itself, like I said, it kind of makes me think that these ULES guys are actually onto something. Because you know if they could, you know full well that Sadiq Khan and TFL would just remove these in an instant. If they had no legality, I, I don't even think they'd last a couple of hours. Transport for London would probably even make a mockery of it and they'd probably put it on their official Instagram page. But weirdly enough, it's been well over a week now and these things are still up. It says that a source familiar with the anti ULES camera strategies says that warning signs have allegedly been pulled down by a TFL subcontractor. Which if it was, then I'm sure they did that subtly and secretly to avoid pushback. And to be fair, they've been spotted in masks like this, so anything could be on the table. And if it is a member of the public that did it, then honestly it's pretty cringe. It just sounds like someone who's actually happy to pay the £12.50. Because these bat boxes only cost 9 dollars so it's actually cheaper than a ULES day pass. So it could well be a member of the public, but I'm kind of leaning towards a TFL guy. And the warning label that was removed was pretty much this down here. It just gives a list of reasons as to why you can't remove the bat box. But like I said, the legality is not actually in the piece of paper itself. The legality is with the bat box. And I'm pretty sure that the reason why that bat box is still up is because someone actually knows that they don't have the law on their side. Like usually TFL and Sadiq Khan, you, you know how happy they are to use the law against you. And as I keep mentioning, I actually think that these ULES people are onto something here. But what do you think? Do you think it was a member of the public that took this down? Or do you think that it was one of Sadiq Khan's employees? Either way, I don't think this situation's going away anytime soon. And if you enjoyed this video, then have a look at this one with something that nobody else has spotted yet. The BBC has forgotten to make a diversity plan. So, thank you for becoming one of the 30,178 subscribers. Thank you to the channel members. And thank you for checking out this very weird video. This country has gone crazy.